be another question of exercise 12.1 page number 234 question number 5 classify into monomial binomial and trinomial we know that the monomial contains one term binomial two and the trinomial three terms so start with the first one 4y minus 7x so we are having two terms here so we're going to write here binomial now this one is the y square containing only one term this is monomial now x plus y minus x y three terms so this one is trinomial now the hundred only one term is there so we're going to write here monomial now a b minus a minus b now in this one we are having three terms so this one is trinomial now this one is 5 minus 3t this and this we are having two terms so this one is binomial now 4 p square q this is the one term and 4 p q square this is the second term so this is binomial having two terms now 7 m n only one term is here so this is monomial now z square minus 3z plus 8. So this is the three terms here. So we're going to write here trinomial. Now comes the next one a square plus b square. We're having two terms. First one is a square. Second one is b square. So we're going to write here binomial. Now z square plus z. This one is one term. This one is one. We're having two terms. So the two term will known as binomial now comes the last one 1 plus x plus x square 1 2 and 3 we are having three terms so three terms is known as trinomial with this one we have completed the question number 5 in the next video we are going to start with the question number 6